shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I am the good shepherd. No more sheep, my sheep don't me, and I'll lay my life down for my sheep. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Wait, then the last time we meet, wasn't Jesus dying on the cross? How do we get from death, dying on the cross, to the resurrection and life? What happened? Hmm, let's go back and check it out. God saw his son, the son of God, on a cross. Then he saw the stain of our sin appearing on Jesus. Your sin, my sin, everything selfish and mean we've ever done or ever could do. The stain of all that sin was appearing on Jesus, even though he'd never done anything wrong at all. God saw his son stained with all the sin of the world. He saw him buried under all that sin. He saw him die under all that sin. And since the punishment for all that sin is death, death away from God, that's how Jesus died. But if he died, how can we say Jesus has power over death? Because he didn't stay dead. Jesus was crucified on a Friday and placed in a tomb that night. On Sunday morning, two women who were followers of Jesus went to the tomb and discovered something incredible. It was empty. The huge stone that blocked the entrance had been rolled away and Jesus wasn't there. Matthew and Luke both tell us that the women meet an angel who says Jesus is no longer dead. He's alive. They didn't have to take the angel's word for it though, because Jesus appears right in front of them, living, walking around and talking. And then Jesus appears to his disciples, and then to more than 500 people. Jesus proved that he had authority over death itself, that the power of sin and death was broken, that the kingdom of God was real, and that we can all be a part of it. He is risen. The tomb was empty and Jesus is alive. Yes, isn't this great, great news? The God of the universe loved us so much that he became human. He lived the perfect life as Jesus, but someone had to pay the penalty for our sin for our disobedience to God. And so Jesus, even though he had never sinned in his whole life, died on the cross for us, died so he could wipe away our sin and guilt and shame, taking it onto himself on the cross and dying. And he called out, it is finished. But he also defeated sin and defeated death and rose again. By dying, he wiped away all of our sin. And by rising again back to life, he makes it possible for us to join him in that eternal life. Now here on earth and when we die and go and be with him forevermore. If we put our trust in him and not because of anything that we have done. We don't deserve it. Only because he loved us so much. He lived and died and rose again, all because he loved us so much and wanted us to be with him forevermore. He loves us. We don't have to die because he died for us. And we get to live because he 
lives. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. He is risen.